Okay, I'm going to try to show you my uh, motor shutdown issue that I have on the Suma X8 HG and um, I have it on two different controllers, radio controllers. This one here is the old one. You can see that that there is no no strange marks on the display. It's actually looking quite new. The new transmitter that I got do actually have a little um, damage on the display. I don't know if you can see it. So here there is a little damage. Uh, and it's having a little mud with SLA with um, plastic tape or some sort just to try to let it not get too far down when I'm out flying so it shuts down in midair. So um, I'm putting in a battery here. Down. There we go. Okay. I should change the batteries. It's, uh, ha it's actually having a much better locket to the battery. Please. So I'm going to change. This one is kind of falling off all the time. So, and then I do like this, put this on, it's flashing, put this on, I do up and down, and let's see if I can, yeah it looks like I put it on, you see it's spinning, and now let's see here now, if I do like this, it shuts down just like it should do. I start the game and now I do like say um only two millimeters you see I don't even have to pull the throttle stick all the way down on this the old transmitter uh, now I shall change it and I have to do a little changing here This one actually comes from the new controller. Then I remove this one. As you can see, I have made plastic tape over there just to make it enough. To do that, I have to change the batteries again. Put it down. And then we do it again, all over again. I shut this on. <coughs> the control on. On the quad. And then I shut it on. And let's see here, this is the new one I go all the down and as you see it worked like it should I start it again and now I only take it down two millimeters and you see it's not fully down and it shuts down all too early so what did I do to fix this issue. Well, I use this there are some mods modification out there uh, some have done taken some plastic something like that
but I actually use some, um, you know, this tape you can use on electronics. And my, my, my thinking about it was that I should be able to shut it down if I needed to. So um, if I'm out flying and not want to shut the motors off when I'm flying, I only want to get down kind of fast, uh, it shouldn't shut be possible to get it all the way down. Let's see here, I'm almost done here. And now I have to do that one. Okay, let's see here if it works. It's still connected. I go up again, like it should. Um, let's say I'm out flying. I just, I'm really high up in the sky, I want to get it down, I do like this, nothing happens, but it should actually really go down without any trouble, I can do like this, still not shutting down, I can do like this, okay, it's a little, I do it again, I do like this, and you know, it's a little natural stop but if I want to get it down all the way if I'm close to the ground I can do like this and then it shuts down so in a sense I kind of thought about the modification that would actually make this quad work I just using some black plastic tape so here's a little mod to the motor shutdown issue. So see you later. Bye.